for example, I got a one match suspension for, you know, going to watch Ed Sheeran, for example, but other referees used to do other things, so they never used to treat you on know, a fair basis. You got but, a ban for going to watch Ed Sheeran? Yeah, yeah. Why? So I, oh, so it was a, I was refereeing West Brom, and it was actually Neil Warnock causes half the problems, and when I see that, <laughs> he causes half That's the problems. That's unusual. Neil causing yeah, yeah. problems, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Colin, Colin. He's gone back Colin. in it. Yeah, yeah. He's gone back in it. 74, yeah, yeah, yeah. by the way, another field. It's like, what 74. Does he want? What does he want? So it was, I was refereeing West Brom Palace, and uh, there was a controversial decision, another one of mine. And uh, <laughs> he wanted to speak to us, but I think he was getting bombarded with the press and I wanted to leave. So I left 30 minutes after, I think, and he didn't want to come in. So I got in and I had my car outside the stadium because I knew if I got the car back to the hotel, hotel back up to Newcastle, I'd miss the Ed Sheeran concert. So I got in my car, got shoot up, just made the concert. Next day I rang Kieran Barrett, who was Mike Riley's assistant boss. Yeah. And by the way, Neil, Neil Warnock rang us in the car on an unknown number, I quickly answered, said, blah, 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 put the phone down. Next thing I know, I got a one-match suspension for uh, going for to Ed Sheeran to, concert. For, for, speak- for speaking to Neil Warnock and, and going to Ed Sheeran concert, so. Why, though? I don't But my garden looked fantastic that week. 